What's up guys, I'm Polly Popo and I'm glad you guys came to the channel and I'm sure you're going to be glad you did because I'm going to walk you through the update on the MPC-211. Uh, it's a little tricky and there's some things that do work and some things that don't and that's what it's all about and that's what we're going to do. So right off the bat, you go to your Akai site, you go to your account and log in, okay? And I do this because I've seen everybody talking about the MPC software and blah, blah blah how cool it is but nobody's showing how to put it on here so go to your account you log into your account most likely you'll have to know your password and everything because yada 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 so what we're going to try to do is get this screen to pop up and let me show you how I did it it was not with this USB 2.11 update USB all I did I went to my registered products view downloads USB, I'm going to show you right here. You can come 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. When I open this, it's going to say you want to make changes. I'm going to open it and say yes. Disk image file corrupt. Bravo. So what we're going to do now is go to, you can try the Mac. I don't have a Mac to try it on, but um, update PC. I went to update PC, and then this thing popped up, and it actually brought up this window, which I'm getting ready to do. This is what you want. So what? once you get this screen, so all we did, we went to the Akai site. We logged in, finally. You log in, and then you go to your registered product. You hit the bottom plus, and then you go to the USB update doesn't work. So you go to the update PC or update Mac. I guess you can't update your software right now. That's kind of weird. Okay, cool. So we're on an empty project, right? And what you want to do is hit menu, and then there's this little gear icon up here at the top. You hit that gear icon, and then right down here at the bottom, it says update. I'm going to tap update. Right now it says 10, to 10.1. We're going to hit update. Online update, USB doesn't work. Switch to update mode. I'm going to switch to update mode. Are you sure you want to restart your yes? Update. Now, what you want to do. I'll leave it over here. Now what you want to do is hit update MPC over here. Transferring update. It's in update mode. It says transferring update 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And this shouldn't take too long, but now I'm like, not that I care because I don't really use the software that much, but um, is it going to update my software too? Or? They, they have a few things to work out, I'm sure. Just make, a, make sure that you back up your data before you do this, okay? I have two different MPCs. I know I'm going to lose a lot of data whenever I do this, but that's not the point. Just back up your stuff, save it on an external drive, because, um, yeah, every update is a little iffy, but they get better and better as time comes. So we're at programming update. Just waiting to see if the screen does anything different over here. I just think it's really important because a lot of people are going to come here and they're going to click USB update or where's the wireless update? Can I do a wireless update? Okay, I'm going to click done. Uh, does it look like I have anything else here? Factory content. You guys want to download all these one at a time. All the time. Look at that. Synth content manager. Okay, let's see here. While this is doing its thing, I want to go over here. Air instruments. We have all of these. You want to make sure you have them all. Um, synth content. Hey, manager, your desktop, you have the storage menu, include instruments and content well purchased. Desktop software all the way at the bottom. So I don't know what the one there. Okay, so if you want your software, make sure you go all the way to the bottom, okay? This is a lot of stuff. Like they want you to actually re register all your stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and click the installer PC and see if that works. Okay. Welcome to MPC. Alright. It looks a little plasticky. I like how it fades a little bit. All right, I see what's up. Make it look like it. New plugin instruments are available. You must first download and install their content files. Okay. 
So that's what we're going to do now. That's what I don't understand. Why would you put this all the way at the bottom of the page? All the way at the bottom of the page, dude. Like, for real. Like, you got this here. You're like, oh, I'm asked out. Oh, this works. No, this works. Why couldn't you just do that right here? You to put it all the way at the bottom. Way down here. NPC, whatever. Let's get this gone here. I don't even like the software. Honestly, that's why I dig the... Uh, what is this? What do you got? Okay. Let's do it. You're going to click on install NPC, extract all, yada, 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 extract, show extracted files when complete, 170 items, install 211. There will be a 2.12 real soon, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, most likely. So far, just looking at the uh, the screen, you know, we we've all seen the the screen already. We're gonna install this here. Uh, we're gonna get the software. You don't want to click on any of these because we're not registering anything. Look at this bad boy. Oh my goodness, NPC software. This one's just for the NPC software. If you need to register your NPC or anything, click on your NPC. But you need to do both. Update NPC software. Uh, run NPC. Let's do it. You're not done yet. Please install the software components and try again. Okay. Update NPC software. 32 bits of... See, that's what I mean. You got to back it up. You have older 32-bit versions of NPC on your computer. Blah, blah, blah. Will no longer support the lap 64 and heat. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. I'm like, let's do it, dude. Let's go. Da da da. Accept. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes, I do. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Now it's extracting files and doing all kinds of stuff. Um, it's kind of weird that I had to redo all of that, but. The NPC screen, of course you've seen the different videos. Uh, this is something that I'm going to have to dive into and, and kind of mess around with. But it's more for like customizing how you want your screen. And I think it's really, really cool. As far as plugins and stuff, um, I still have to download. You still have to download them from the site. So as soon as this gets done, it's going to pop open the software. And we'll see. I just figured might as well do the standalone and the software. So we're almost done here with the software, and then um, we'll go ahead and download this other folder that we need. I'll show you which one it is over here in just one second. Let's do one thing at a time. So far we went to the Akai site, we logged in, we went to our product, the USB did not work, so we went with the PC or Mac, it did work. A newer version of hybrid content already installed, that's because I bought it. Uh-huh, finish, run NPC, 